Oh my gosh. Hey guys. <sighs> Shoot, now I'm too low. Where do I sit? So you want to become a YouTuber? Okay guys, everyone shut up so I can get this done with. Like I said, 2019, the year of patience. Hey girly pops, welcome back to my channel. So I don't ever say welcome back to my channel. What was that? Tana I'm Tana Mojo. Hey, wait, what did she say? Hey got no, what did she say? Brian, get out. Am I in? You're making I'm water in. noise. Huh? You're making water noise. Alright, I don't look my greatest, but you know what? I am currently in Bali. What the heck? Is that? <laughs> this has been my bucket list for like a year and a half now. I can't believe it's happening so quickly. Life is crazy, and um, you know what? Thank you to you. I'm not, you know what? Let's not get happy this early on in the video, but it's not good to you. <laughs> on my vlog channel, I will be posting a Korea and Bali vlog very soon, so you can go catch up on there. There's also a Hawaii vlog with Ava Jules. It's been very popping over on the vlog channel. I forgot how to speak English because we're in Bali. <laughs> Amazing, my backpack just fell. All right guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about something. And that thing is inspired by all the comments that I get that are like, hey, great video. Small channel, by the way. Nothing wrong with those comments, but it made me notice, hey, there's a lot of small channels. And I get a lot of questions asking, how do you have the confidence to start? What camera do you use? And since it is almost the new year, it's probably a great time to get started with these tips and tricks. Little disclaimer though, you know, Everyone grows their channel differently. I don't know why anyone subscribed to me in the first place. I'm just gonna try and tell you what I think I know, but it's different for everyone. I mean, clearly I'm not like the biggest YouTuber, but it's enough so that I can eat now and then. Now and then. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna tell you what I know. So I asked you guys on my Instagram what you guys wanna know about being a YouTuber. And even if you don't wanna be a YouTuber, this is just kind of like a behind the scenes. So let's just get started, you know, okay. Wish this Wi-Fi would have yeah, 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 yeah. Also, my Instagram stories have kind of been popping because I'm Molly's really cute, so you should go check it out. <laughs> Let's start this thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, first question. Oh my god, I'm like trying to swim. Frick. Okay, okay. Question number one comes from Ryan Yero. What is your channel? <laughs> what is your channel name? So this is actually a fun fact because I learned this today. My first ever channel name was Soda Pop 738. Notice the pop in there. Have no idea why I put that in there, but now I call you guys Girly Pop. So the world really just goes around like that sometimes, you know. What is YouTube? Great question. I don't actually know what it is. Next question. Ooh, this one's good. We're getting right into the business side. Jake Goslin asks, Would you pay a marketing agency to help monetize and grow your audience? A marketing agency. Is that like you? It's a manager. Yeah. It's Oh, so it's like a full screen. My recommendation is to stay away from full screen and Studio 71 and all those places because they will promise you lots of things that just are not true. They'll get you maybe one brand deal in the beginning and then they'll just kind of take your AdSense money and never do anything with you ever again. So stay away from those. Marketing agency, what is... I think at first it's good to grow organically. Once you get to a good size, let's say around like 300k and there's a bunch of brands reaching out to you then it's a good idea to try and find a manager a manager is a whole different subject though like there's a lot of things you have to know about contracts and that's like really advanced though i feel like one day if i have a podcast we can really dive deep into that but just right off the bat full screen studio 71 agencies or mcns like that usually prey on the smaller youtubers so stay away from them how did you have the patience to keep making videos this is a good question because i've been on youtube for 10 years wait no not 10 years sorry eight years now because i just turned 18 so i've been on youtube for eight years that's a long time. That's a lot of patience. <laughs> and the reason I had, let's say, the tenacity to keep going is because when I started, it was purely just for fun and I did it out of joy. It didn't feel like a chore and it wasn't for any sort of outcome. I was literally just making a video so that I could edit on my dad's phone and editing on iMovie was the funnest thing to me. Insert clip of me editing an OOTD. joy of it and it didn't start getting serious until I was maybe like a sophomore in high school and by then I kind of had a following and it was really fun because I had kind of a community rooting me on and the passion just kept growing so that's kind of how it started for me I feel like nowadays 
it is a lot harder for people to be patient because they go into it wanting subscribers and wanting views. So the initial video or, you know, 200 videos that they post, if they don't see results quickly, then they quit. And that's because the goal in mind is completely different from when I started. So that's my opinion on it. Hannah Ketchum asks, how many hours of footage go into one vlog? This is interesting. Okay, so for YouTube videos on my main channel, it really depends. The fashion videos take a long time. Q and A's like this obviously don't take as long. It maybe takes me like an hour to film. For vlogs, you vlog all day. So total, that's probably like three hours of footage in one, no, that's a lot of footage. It's like an hour total, total of footage for a vlog. But then for like my transformation videos, those take a literal entire day to film and then even longer to edit. So basically it depends for each video. Oh, okay, let's talk about camera equipment. This is a humongous reason why so many people don't start YouTube channels. And what I love is that there's so many examples of YouTubers who don't even use camera equipment that have, you know, made it. Let's take Joanna Sedia. She uses her iPhone. I don't know if she still does. I'm pretty sure she still does. Let's say Antonio Garza. I don't know for sure. If you're watching this, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure Antonio uses an iPhone. Don't let camera equipment being expensive hold you back from starting a YouTube channel because guess what? You have this beautiful thing. If you have an Android, that's a different story. But if you have an iPhone, you're good to go. You have iMovie on here. You have everything you need right here. And so really nowadays, there's no excuse. Why is YouTube not recommending most of the YouTubers videos that I'm subscribed to? So the YouTube algorithm is so different nowadays. And I feel like it's so that it actually benefits small YouTubers because it'll just recommend random videos. But if you want to get recommended videos of people that you're subscribed to, you really got to turn on the post notifications. And that's not just a plug. I mean, it is just a plug. It's a plug. It's literally the only way because YouTube doesn't even really focus on your recommendation. I mean, on your subscribed subscriptions anymore. It's really about the homepage and recommendations. So if you want to get my videos every Fam Friday, the only way is post notifications follow me on Instagram. Oh wait, I didn't even say what camera I have. Okay, for my vlog channel, I use a Canon M50 with a 10 to 45 millimeter lens, I think. And then I use a Rode mic. The camera that I'm filming on right now is a Canon EOS 80D with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens, which is also great for pictures. But that's a lot of money and it is an investment. If you're willing to take it, go ahead. If not, you have an iPhone. If you have an Android, get like a Canon G7X or something. My ribs have been sitting on this rock. Okay. What tools do you use to edit? I use the cut. <laughs> features. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I use Final Cut Pro. Some people use Premiere. You can do more things in Premiere and After Effects, but that's so advanced and if you're not going to make cinematic things, you don't really need it. I started off with Windows Live Movie Maker. It's so old and so bad, but that's what I started on. And then I went to iMovie and then I went to Final Cut. And if you want to learn how to edit, literally Google everything. That's how I learned how to edit. No shade, no tea, but I've gotten a lot of people who were my friends. This is years ago, so it's not really shady, but they would like ask me to teach them to edit. And uh, you have Google. I don't know why that's necessary. Anyways, okay, next question. Ooh, Shannon asks, how do brand deals work? This is interesting. I used to do brand deals independently because I didn't have any sort of management behind me. And that's actually pretty risky because I would get emails myself. I would read through them. I would negotiate with a brand a rate, which I was just pulling out of my butthole because I had no idea how to make rates and no other YouTubers were really telling me how much they were getting paid. So you kind of just guess. So a lot of brands will lowball you because they know you have no idea what you're talking about. They can send you contracts that say things that they shouldn't say, which they can basically own you, which is really scary in contracts. And then I would just sign them. Luckily, I never got too screwed over. I was being underpaid a lot, which I didn't know until about seven or eight months ago, I got a manager. It was life changing. So basically my manager is a 360. So she helps me produce merch. She helps me get the brand deals. If I go to VidCon, she's there with me for business meetings, yada, yada, yada. She takes the emails. She negotiates for me because she knows what she's talking about. And then she looks over the contracts and makes sure I'm not getting screwed over. Yeah, that's how brand deals work. It's different for every contract. There are mentions, which are like 30 seconds. There are integrations, which can be like a minute. Dedicated YouTube videos. There's Instagram posts. There's a package deal of a YouTube plus Instagram plus Twitter deal. YouTube is actually a lot more businessy than I think a lot of people think. And regardless if you want to start a channel or not, I feel like it's pretty interesting. Actually, okay, please comment down below if you find the business side of things interesting because I always have, but I don't know if that's kind of specific to me or if the majority of people find it interesting because if it is, I'll talk about it all day. I love it. Hey, right. ow, 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 this hurts so bad. Okay, so this is a huge question. Why is it blurry? Hello? Camera, this is why you should film on your iPhone. 
how to have the confidence to start a YouTube channel. Because I don't want my friends at school to find out. This can actually be a pretty scary thing. Kids are not the nicest. I've heard of YouTubers being bullied at school. Luckily, I didn't really have that issue. I mean, okay, I had boys like teasing me, being like, oh my gosh, hey guys, it's Haley Fam, but it was playful. I guess I just don't take things personally. You're gonna have to develop a thick skin if you want to start a YouTube channel because inevitably people will find out there's Ryan playing Nintendo Switch. I'm reading. <laughs> I'm reading. People will find out and you're just gonna have to be proud of it. And if you go into it being proud of your work, which I was not for a very long time, it'll be easier for them to make fun of it. But if they try to bring it up and try to tease you about it, if you're like, yeah, don't be petty. Don't be petty like that. But be proud of your work. And then if you're proud, then it's gonna be harder for them to make fun of you for it. And if they do make fun of you, if you can't take it, then you can quit. But if you're dedicated to it and you wanna do it for the love of it, then you'll pursue it through it. Oh, this is a good question. Do you get stressed out a lot? I usually don't get stressed out a lot. I feel like I'm pretty organized. I have a million planners and I write down a lot of things. Just recently, I almost cried in front of all my friends here because I, <laughs> you guys are just watching me. It was, I, okay, so you know how a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I'm having a mental breakdown and they'll cry over school or just stress. I've never felt that. I'm pretty chill, I feel like most of the time, but this trip has been a different story because traveling while making YouTube videos is tough and I missed last fam Friday and I beat myself over it so freaking much. It's also Vlogmas, which I haven't been keeping up with. So December has been the most stressful time of the year, but once I'm home and in a routine, I have a healthy amount of stress, but it only gets bad if it feels out of my control, if that makes sense. I don't know. How is Ryan verified but you aren't? Instagram, hit me up. What is the hardest thing about YouTube? Ooh, this is actually a good question. The hardest thing about my privileged life is that being creative every single week or multiple times a week is difficult, especially when there's so many other YouTube creators on the platform. Try not to make similar content, try not to copy, trying to make original things, trying to make it engaging, try to keep you watching, keep the watch time up. All of that is stress stressful and difficult to do every single week, but it's fun. I find it fun to push yourself to think of ideas that are kind of out of the box, but it is hard to continue innovating, especially since YouTube evolves so quickly and viewers get tired so fast. I think one of the scariest parts is trying not to have a scandal, which is kind of funny to say, but it really is scary because you never know what can tick someone off nowadays. It's definitely got a lot more sensitive and I'm not the most sensitive to those types of things. Sometimes I just say things because I never mean things maliciously. So I'll just say things that I think are funny and then realize, that's not funny. So trying to stay away from that is difficult for me because I just think everything is a joke. But other than that, it's rainbow and sunshine and butterflies. <laughs> okay, how long did it take before you finally made good money? Um, it took me six and a half years, so. Yeah, if you've been putting out videos and you're like, I don't know why my channel is growing, I'm not making money. You're in it for the wrong reasons, and that means you will probably quit faster. But yeah, it was six and a half years of just pure joy, and then once it became something that made me financially stable, it just added to the joy of it, and allows me to make better content, bigger content for you. It allows me to like go to Bali and do vlogs and Instagram posts that are more interesting to you guys. But it does take quite a while, especially with YouTube's new monetization process. It is not how it used to be. I don't even, it's like something with 10,000 minutes of watch time. There are, how many? 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. So yeah, policies have changed. That is all that I'm going to talk about for this little YouTube q and I hope it was at all helpful for you guys. If you want to know more in depth, maybe I'll make a podcast. <laughs> Okay. It's time for us to go to dinner. Everyone's just sitting here waiting for me to hurry up. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with these Bali and Korea posts. You can subscribe to join the family. It's a, you know, it's a family. And then ILY means, okay, you get it. You can turn on your post notifications because as we addressed earlier, YouTube is a little booty hole and it won't recommend my videos to you even if you're subscribed. I will see you guys next fam Bye, guys. Friday and go subscribe to my vlog channel. Yay, I love you. Bye. Bye.